everybody, it's me, Corey, here with you once again to share some awesome tips and awesome builds with Lego. Now, I know right now it's hot outside, it's summer, and we're ready to get back outside, get to the playground so we can jump and play and do all those awesome things. But for some of us, maybe our playground is not open right now. So guess what we're going to do today? We're going to take the playground from outside and bring it inside with Lego. So I want you guys to use your imaginations and I want you to watch and follow me as I build three awesome builds that you can do at home with the Lego pieces that you have at home. Now, if you have something on a playground where you stand to the top and you slide down, oh, I said the word, a slide, yeah. So what about a time when your friend is either pushing you and you're going wee and you come back and he pushes you again or maybe you're doing that, you got it, a swing. How about having a friend on one side and you on the other side and you're going up and down, up and down, okay, you got it, a seesaw. So those are the three items that we're gonna build today in our Lego build, <laughs> in our Lego build time. Now, I'm a little bit overdressed, don't you think? I'm a little bit overdressed. I like dressing up like this, but I'm a little bit overdressed right now. I should be in my summer clothes so we can go ahead and start building our summer playground, right? So, give me a second, let me get switch out. All right, this feels much better. I feel loose, I feel like I'm ready to play. I am ready to play. I'm ready to play with you guys and build these super cool Lego builds. Now remember, we're making a seesaw, we're making a slide, and we're making a swing. So let's take a look at how we build it. Okay everyone, the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna build a slide. Now a slide has a few steps on the back, right, leading up, and then it has the slide portion leading down. So you see our two friends here? Our two friends want to jump on the slide, so let's go ahead and start building the slide for them. Now, first thing we want to do is we want to build steps. Now the way you want to build steps with Lego is you want to start with two bricks, like this, and these are called two by four bricks. Next thing you want to do, you want to add another set of two by four bricks. But you see what I did? I placed this brick in the center here between this brick and this brick. And then I took another brick and I put it at the edge, right? So this is called overlapping. Now, if you guys can see, one, two, three. I'm starting to get a, a step motion going on. And I'm just gonna add this because I'm gonna follow this motion. Now, if you're following this at home, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight steps. Okay, now your slide can be just as tall or it can be just as short. It doesn't really matter. However you want to build it, that's the way you want to do it. Now, the next thing I want to add, I'm going to add this piece. This piece right here is a Technic beam. And this Technic beam you want to put at the edge right here. And you want to place two of these Technic beams here. Now this is a three hole Technic beam because it has three holes, okay? Now, the next piece you wanna use are these right here. These are called pegs. Let me place them right here so you guys can see them a little better. These are called friction pegs. Now, they are called friction pegs because they create friction and allow something not to move, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna place our friction pegs, one right here and one right here on the edge, see? Now, we're gonna get some more Technic beams and we're gonna get a five hole Technic beam. We're gonna grab two of them. And I want you to place these Technic beams upside down, okay? So this side has the studs and this side is non-stud. So you're gonna put it upside down for me. There we go. Okay, great. Now. I have here a regular plate. Now, your plate doesn't have to be as long as mine or as big as mine, but if you want it to be, that's fine. You can have it small, you can have it short. However you wanna do it. Now, I'm gonna place my 
plate right here at the edge. Okay. So let's move my... There we go. I'm going to have it at the edge like this. Now, I'm going to add a few more pieces. And you can add these pieces as well if you want. But I'm going to put these pieces along the side of the, of the slide. So that way when my character slides down, it's going to slide and not fall off the sides. Now, the last thing you want to use, you want to get two more bricks like this. You want to put one brick right here on the edge, just like that. And if you want, you can add an extra step just for safety right there. Now, here goes my two characters. One's coming up the step. There we go. And the other one is coming down the slide. Are you ready? Set. Hey, there you go. And here's the other one. All right. So there goes your slide that you can build at home. And our characters are super excited that they get to do it.